Welcome to my channel, Go, where we explore the remarkable intersections between science and health. And today we're looking at fasting and its effects on surgery before, during and after surgeries and procedures and colonoscopies and how it accelerates the healing process through autophagy. My name's Gabrielle Amies and I'm an intermittent fasting coach. Today I have nearly completed a 48 hour fast and I feel absolutely amazing. Once I push through the initial hunger pangs with coffee, with a dash of MCT oil and plenty of water, it was actually quite easy and I'm really looking forward to breaking my fast at 5.30 this evening with some protein, followed by a nice bowl of pasta and a couple of glasses of red wine. The benefits of doing a longer fast at least once a month are incredible for your health, not only for weight management, but for brain health and rejuvenating your body. So let's dive into this fascinating topic, how fasting helps before, during and after surgeries, procedures and colonoscopies. So let's dive straight into it. Have you ever wondered why medical professionals ask you to fast before certain procedures? Let's find out. Fasting before surgeries isn't just a random requirement. It serves a crucial purpose. Let's start with fasting. Fasting isn't just about weight loss. It can be a powerful tool to prepare your body for surgery. When you fast before surgery, you give your digestive system a break, allowing your body to focus its energy on other vital functions. Fasting before procedures is a well-established practice. Fasting before helps significantly reduce the complications during the procedure and post-operation, and particularly reduces the risk of aspiration, helping ensure a safer operation. When you eat, food travels down your esophagus to your stomach. But did you know food contents can sometimes flow backwards into your lungs? This is called aspiration and can be particularly dangerous, especially during anesthesia. During operations, patients are often admitted anesthesia to ensure they're pain-free during the procedure. Anesthesia can slow down your body's reflexes, including the ability to prevent aspiration. Fasting helps ensure that your stomach is empty, reducing the risk of aspiration during a procedure. Another reason for fasting is because it stabilizes blood sugar levels. Eating before surgeries can cause fluctuations in blood sugar levels, which is not ideal when your body needs to stay stable during a procedure. And let's look at how fasting helps colonoscopies. Colonoscopies are essential for not only detecting, but for helping to prevent colonectal cancer. Fasting before a procedure helps ensure that your colon is as clean as possible making it much easier for doctors to get clear images of your colon lining, removing any stool that might obstruct the view of the colonoscope. During surgery, fasting continues. Your body's metabolism adapts to the absence of food intake by tapping into reserve stored energy. So how can you incorporate fasting and autophagy into your surgery preparation? Here's a simple pre-surgery fasting protocol. Consider intermittent fasting in the days leading up to surgery. This might involve a 16, eight hour fasting window, but remember to stay hydrated with black tea, coffee, and plenty of water. But the real benefits of fasting begin if you can push your fast up just that little bit longer and enter autophagy. After a while of fasting, your body starts going through the process of self-eating. Autophagy is derived from the Greek language, auto meaning self and tophagy meaning eating. This is where your body starts eating its old and damaged cells as a means for survival. Autophagy enhances cellular repair, which is essential during and especially 
after surgery. It helps the cells recover from stress, reduces inflammation in the body, and supports the body's response to surgical trauma. Fasting doesn't end with surgery. It continues post-operatively, offering several benefits for recovery. Post-operative fasting can reduce inflammation, minimize pain and discomfort after surgery, and potentially decrease the need for pain medication. Autophagy remains active post-surgery, aiding in the healing of tissues, reducing scar formation, and expediting overall recovery. In conclusion, Fasting and autophagy are integral to the success of operations and surgeries. Fasting helps reduce aspiration risk, stabilizes blood sugar levels, optimizes the body's response to stress, and prepares your digestive tract for operations, and accelerates healing before, during, and after medical procedures, reducing post-operation pain and the need for excessive painkillers. So the next time you're having to undergo any medical procedure, why don't you consider incorporating fasting and autophagy into your surgery preparation with a 16 eight hour intermittent fast in the days leading to and post-surgery and even a 24 hour fast. And as always, consult with your medical practitioner regarding any pre or post-procedure fasting. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like and subscribe button and share it with your friends so that they can learn about the incredible benefits of intermittent fast before, during and after surgeries. Don't forget to subscribe because every week I post a different video on the incredible benefits of intermittent fasting and this way you'll get a notification and you'll never miss out. And remember, the only bad fast is the fast that didn't happen. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye from me, Gabrielle Amy's, your intermittent fasting coach.